Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. Just a quick update on the last circuit board that I acquired from JLC PCB. As you can see on the picture, it's in its unmade form. Now it took a little while to build it and there we go. There it is practically fully built and it's been on test now for quite a good few weeks and it's been running perfectly which I'm very happy about. There you can see the board switching on. That's done via Tasmata software in the top left hand side Wemos unit. So I hope to have these all automated very soon and shortly it should all switch back off there we go switch back off via the Tasmata software it can also be done via a son off as well you just have to do a little bit of messing about but here we go with the main part of this video the unboxing now as you can see there was a fee to pay a customs fee to pay and the obligatory eight pounds for the royal mail so beware people if you buy a lot from JLC PCB and the LSC um, component supplier be careful on import duty because the UK like to give you a charge but anyway here we go with the unboxing very excited to see what's inside There's a box from LCSC. Now the reason why this is a box from LCSC is because I decided to order all my components from their sister website, I think it is. So I used all the component descriptions from their online library, built a bill of materials and ordered the circuit boards and the components in the same order hopefully trying to cut costs on shipping but that didn't happen because of Royal Mail and their customs charges but here we are opening the box you can see the PCBs on the top and the pen which I'm getting now quite a collection of so we'll put that down at the front So here's the actual control PCBs. Just focus a bit better. They're all looking very good. We'll do a close up in a moment. And here's the actual tree itself. All looking very good. Yep, quite happy with all that. We'll have a close up of those very soon. Now, the components. Lots and lots of components. Look like 5 volt regulators. And we'll just go through the components and have a look. So there should be resistors, capacitors, some transistors, some surface mount LEDs. Go on go to a description with every single component because hopefully you will see that on the construction video. But everything looks like it's come off a tape reel apart from the relays. Overall, everything seems to be quite good. There was nothing missing. Overall, very happy with the service with that. I think those are the level shift ICs. More, more capacitors, 
more capacitors. Uh, the relay switches. Everything seems to be there. Everything's nicely labelled up so I can cross reference with the bill of materials. There's the WS2812 uh, RGB LEDs. Those are ultimately going on the actual tree themselves. So, all in all, everything seems to be present. Everything's nicely packed, well labelled. Okay, let's have a look at the circuit boards. Starting off with the control board. We'll just take this out of the packet. All looking very good up to now. There we have it, just need to focus a little bit better, yep, nice and shiny, silk screen looks good, yep, the right hand side one is for the remote switch, left hand side controls the lights, on the rear, yep, everything looks good, copper fill looks good, all in all, very happy, let's see if we get in a little bit closer, yeah, I decided to use surface mount components this time, instead of through hole, while keeping through hole to a minimum and I think it's turned out quite well I will put together a construction video for this all in all very happy with that and now let's have a look at the tree I had to pre-cut this because due to the design of it, it seemed to be very hard to get into, so just made it a little bit easier for the camera. So this is designed to fit onto the control board and be a standalone unit, just powered by 12 volts focus and you can see there the uh, 0603 bypass capacitors on the back those should be fun to solder and the places for the RGB LEDs on the front seems to have turned out very well very happy with that so you can see there, that's how it's meant to go, with a right angle connector, so it stands up. And then you can program the ESP8266 to run light sequences, or run the cheer lights feed, or basically run whatever you want, if you don't want to use the, um, the remote feature of it then just short the relay contacts but over all in all very happy with that so in conclusion very happy with JLC PCB very happy with LCSC the only thing I was not happy with 
was the customs charge but that's what happens when you import stuff and of course the eight pounds at Royal Mail charge you and just a quick note that this video was not sponsored by JLC PCB or LSC it was just done out of pure love for this anyway thank you all for watching and we'll see you again